All right, so today we will talk a little bit about a simple question, um, how a gene gets turned on, but uh, it's a fairly complicated and nuanced answer. Hopefully we'll uh, be able to figure out uh, a little bit of details so you can understand how that actually happens. So if we go back to the central dogma to biology, we have DNA, goes to RNA, goes to protein. And one way to think about how a gene gets expressed is to talk about this stage here, the step of going from DNA to RNA. So going from the genome to the messenger RNAs that ultimately will make a protein. And that's really done by this enzyme called RNA polymerase. So a polymerase is basically something that takes individual units and puts them together. Um, and because this takes RNA uh, nucleotides and strings them together, we call it an RNA polymerase. Now, essentially the question of turning on a gene gets to RNA polymerase coming in and converting a piece of DNA in the genome into a piece of RNA. But you have to basically call the RNA polymerase the very specific spot within the genome. So typically, a gene will start with three little letters, A, T, G. This is usually the start codon. And then upstream of that, you have all the bells and whistles needed to basically call RNA polymerase. Usually there is an A, T retrogen. And A's and T's are important because that, uh, those are easier to pull apart than the C's and the G's. And the RNA polymerase will basically recognize little motifs in here sit down on here, um, and basically start transcribing an RNA um, off of this. Now, it gets really interesting when you basically have to call in the RNA polymerase um, to this specific spot in the genome. And that's usually done by things called transcription factors, which I will abbreviate TF for short. And these things are really cool. They basically will recognize specific sequences of DNA upstream um, of this AT rich region, um, and then they will either make it more likely or less likely for the RNA polymerase to come in and transcribe this piece of DNA into RNA. And so you can do a lot of interesting things with these. Um, you can knock out different uh, motifs for certain transcription factors. Um, a lot of work is actually being done trying to understand how these motifs get, um, relate to gene expression and how you kind of engineer more synthetic versions of these. Um, the best example of a synthetic or synthetic um, promoter region, uh, which is the name for this entire part, um, is the DR5, uh, long-standing used promoter in plant biology, DR5, for uh, looking at oxygen expression um, in plants. It's basically just a little motif um, that is, in this case, a GC-rich region um, that is called the oxygen response factor, and they just basically put that in, multiple copies of it, in front of the AT-rich bells and whistles for RNA polymerase. And you now have a synthetic promoter that will respond to auxin. Um, and so a lot of work is now being done to try to get, to make synthetic promoters that work for a lot of other different things, day versus night, um, other chemicals that it re respond to as a sensor, things like that. So there's a lot of detail there and it gets even more hairy and more complicated the deeper you go, but this hopefully gives you a little bit of an idea as to how you turn on a gene.